Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera to all of you. So, we continue with our last video for this chapter. Alright, so it consists of two parts. The first part is the Bayer string theory. The last part is the uses of alkene. Okay, so for the Bayer string theory, as I mentioned in the previous video, it can be used to predict the reactivity of cyclic compound. So why cyclopropane undergo additions and why cyclopentane undergo substitution reactions? Okay, why cyclopropane can undergo the ring opening reactions, but the larger ring such as cyclo uh, pentane cannot undergo ring opening reactions. Okay, contoh kita bagi tadi lah. So, you have Cl2 and then CCl4. So, this one you akan dapat Cl and Cl. Tapi, this one Cl2 kena react with UV. And then, the ring structure akan remain by the substitution product kat situ. Alright, so, what is the different why? Okay, this is all about the reactivity. So, how we want to identify or to compare the reactivity of cyclopropane and cyclopentane, for example. Okay, so basically, we are going to use the Bayer strain theory in order to assess the reactivity of cyclic compound. Alright, so according to the Bayer strain theory, okay, the optimum bond angle for cyclic compound is 109.5. So, maksud optimum adalah paling stable ataupun the ideal bond angle or the best bond angle. So, apa itu bond angle? Okay, so bond angle adalah angle di dalam bonding. Okay. So, this is point angle. Belah dalam. Alright. So, this is dalam. Okay. So, yang ini semua point angle. Okay. Same goes to this one. Alright. So, point angle adalah nilai angle di dalam cyclic structure. Okay. So, dia kata juga, if the point angle deviate from the optimum value. So, meaning that, bila point angle value is not equal to 109.5. Tak sama. For example, for cyclopropane. Okay, it resemble macam segitiga, right? So, the bond angle is 60 degree. Alright? So, kalau for cyclopentane. Okay, it's just like macam pentagon. So, dia punya bond angle adalah 108. Okay, 108. Alright, so kalau kita tengok kedua-dua structure ni, dia punya bond angle is not equal to 109.5. So, bila dia tak sama, dia akan produce angle strain. Okay, for example, okay, so ini adalah 109.5. Contoh saja ya, punya angle. Okay, ini strain dia. Okay, so and then bila you ada segitiga, okay, so, this is you punya bond angle which is 60 degree. So, dia kata optimum mesti 109.5, sorry. But then, you punya structure cuma ada 60. So, maksudnya dia not equal. So, dia ada deviations. So, deviations dia berapa? Adalah 49.5. So, yang dekat luar ni, kita kenal dia sebagai angle strain. So, what is relationship of angle strain and the reactivity? Okay. So, increase. Okay, sorry. Increase angle strain will increase the reactivity. Okay. So, maksudnya makin besar nilai angle strain, makin reaktif lah compound tu. Okay. So, kalau kita tengok untuk cyclopentane, okay, bond angle dia adalah 108. Okay. Optimum adalah 109. So, bermaksud 109.5 
tolak dengan 108. So, kita dapatlah angle strain dia 1 point. Sorry, 1 point 5 degree. So, kalau you compare nilai yang kat sini dengan value yang dekat sini. So, definitely angle strain untuk cyclopentane adalah lebih rendah. So, bila cyclopentane, uh, sorry, dia punya angle strain lebih rendah, maksudnya dia kurang reaktif. Or in other words, dia lebih stable as compared to cyclopropane. Okay, so because of that, cyclopentane, dia tak boleh undergo ring opening reactions. Sebab the energy required to break down the bonding ni adalah sangat tinggi due to its stability. So, macam mana you nak kaitkan? You kena kaitkan dengan Bayer strain theory. Okay. So, we move to the next slide. Okay. Dekat sini ada comparison antara tiga compound. Okay. Cyclic comp compound. Which is cyclopropane, cyclobutane and cyclopentane. Okay. So, the structure. Okay. So, cyclopropane is just like macam segi tiga. Cyclobutane macam segi empat. And cyclopentane lebih kurang macam pentagon. Alright. So, for the bond angle. Okay. Yang paling besar adalah cyclopentane. Okay. Followed by cyclobutane and the last one is cyclopropane. So, angle strain akan terbalik. Sebab kalau bond angle dia kecil, angle strain dia akan besar. Okay. So, uh, cyclopentane di tengah and then the last one is cyclopentane. Painting. So, reactivity will follow the angle strain because increase angle strain value will increase the reactivity of cyclic compound. So, this is the reason why cyclopropane is highly reactive as compared to cyclopentane. Normally, the questions will ask you to put the cyclic compound in sequence. And the students, okay, always careless with this sign. Okay, sorry. Okay, sign ni. Lebih kecil, more than, less than ni. Okay, so I advise you, kalau you are not sure, okay, uh, in using this kind of sign, so better you buat macam ni. Okay, let's say lah in increasing sequence. Okay, so you boleh buat increasing reactivity for example ok so apa yang you boleh buat adalah you tulis cyclopropane and then cyclobutane and last kali adalah cyclopentane ok so apa yang you buat adalah buat arrow so kalau increasing maksudnya daripada rendah ke tinggi. Alright, so reactivity yang paling rendah adalah cyclopentane. So sorry eh, sengit pula arrow saya ni. So arrow dia adalah ke sini. Okay, so you boleh letak increasing reactivity. So kat macam ni lebih jelas dan lebih kurang risiko untuk you buat careless mistake. Okay. So the next one and the last one is the uses of alkane. Okay, my advice, okay, for each chapter, except at chapter number one, because the tak ada users pun, okay, you remember at least two users. Okay, so all the users ni is just like macam free marks for you. Okay, because this is only for uh, knowledge level. Okay, so you can remember two. Okay, so common mistake adalah bila kita tanya users, tu dia akan jawab. Crude oil. Crude oil is not the uses of alkene. Okay. That one is the source of alkene. Kita guna crude oil. Kita guna fuel for our automobiles. For our in, uh, car engine and so on. Kita guna fuel. Kita tak guna crude oil yang kita cari gali tu terus guna tak. We, we are using the process one. Okay. So next, kita guna juga for the synthetic fiber, plastic, detergent, drugs. Dyes and so on. 
Okay, so you just have to remember to, all right. So basically, this is the end of this chapter. Okay, habis dah this chapter. So revise balik. Okay, we start with the introductions, and then we have the nomenclature. So you have the four step. Okay, ingat the first one you have to find your longest continuous carbon chain, and then follow with the numbering. So in the numbering step, you you have to make sure that your branch at the lowest carbon number. Okay. And then the third one is to locate and name your branch. So, ingat kalau you letak die. So, uh, the locations kena ada dua. Numbering. Contoh macam 1-1 dimethyl. So, die numbering kena ada dua. Kalau you let's say you letak 1-2 uh, dimethyl. Dichloro, so maksudnya Okay, you letak di, perkataan di, so you kena ada dua locations di depan Which is one dengan two, for example Alright, and the last one is You kena susun, you punya all the branches yang you ada tu into a single word So macam mana nak susun, siapa nak duduk depan, siapa nak duduk belakang So you kena susun ikut alphabetical order And back in your mind, parents chain which is your longest continuous carbon chain mesti berada di belakang it, it is not considered in the alphabetical order parents dekat belakang okay and then we move to um methods of preparation so you have three okay the first one is hydrogenation of alkene okay kita tambah h2 with the presence of catalyst by the double bond Okay, the second one adalah green reagents. So, you can add the RMGX. So, kalau X tu, soalan tak specify dia nak bromine atau perchlorine, you can choose either BR or CL. And the last one is the reduction of alkyl halide. Alright. And then, we move to the reactions. We have halogenation, your first mechanism. Alright. So, it consists of the... Um, Initiations, propagation, and termination step. So remember, always do for the major products if the question doesn't uh, specify any structure. Alright, and then you have to uh, remember, you have to choose or you have to consider whether that reactions will have the major plus minor products or only one products. Okay, so how? It depends on the classifications of carbon. Okay, primary, secondary, tertiary, and so on. The, okay, next you have the combustions, complete combustions. So the product must be CO2 plus H2O. So you have to balance the equations. Okay, and then the sec, the last one is the ring opening reactions. It's only for cyclopropane reactions. And the last part tadi adalah Bayes strain theory. So if you have two Describe the Bayesian theory. You have three main points. The first one is the optimum value, which is 109.5. Okay, the second one is the value is not equal to the optimum one. It will introduce the angle strain. So, what have, what is the relationship between angle strain and reactivity? So, the relationship is increased angle strain will increase the reactivity. Alright, and last but not least is the users. Already mentioned, you have to remember at least two. So, I think that's all for our um, discussion on this chapter 2. Okay, so next week we will continue with the chapter number 3. So, thank you guys. Okay, so macam biasa, if ada apa-apa yang tak faham, you can uh, tanya in group WhatsApp so that we can share the knowledge with your friends. Alright, okay, thank you.